I'll be demonstrating the projection here on this window by using the M plus one uh, view sonic projector that you get in the Atmos FX um, kit. And honestly, he's the cutest. <laughs> now, honestly, I don't think I would ever buy this projector because I thought it was so tiny. I'm used to giant projectors. But when this came, I got this from Atmos FX through ViewSonic. I'm part of their affiliate program. And I, I filled out an application to help um, showcase this little projector by you know filming like I do for you guys. So this was given to me just to show you guys. And I'm, I'm totally honest here. I have one, two, three, four other projectors and this blew my mind because it was so small. Um, it's so tiny. That's why I think, I don't think I ever would have got it because it was so small. It comes with the remote here and all the cords and stuff that it should. This is not an unboxing video because there are a ton of unboxing videos on this projector. I've seen it before. And you all don't need another boring unboxing video. You can watch those. What I'm just going to do is demonstrate the most simplest way to use your window. That window there. So the simplest way. I'm going to use this projector, the one that comes in the kit. So if you're all curious how to do the most simplest window project projection. And it's really fun to do it from in your house looking out like through this window because you don't have to worry about weather. You have electricity to plug it in, even though this thing is battery operated, which blew my mind. I didn't even know that was a thing. So I'm kind of really stoked on that option. Um, it's just super simple. If you want the most simple um, decoration by, by using this. So let's um, show you what I'm gonna do. So here is my plastic sheet I hung up in my window. I hate the creases, I hate the wrinkles, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like because this is the easiest way. You take um, a plastic um, tablecloth that you get at the dollar store, it has to be frosted, um, you know, or white. You have to be able to see through it a little bit because it has to project the uh, image. And I'm gonna show you just what a simple behind the window projection looks like from the outside. So I just taped it up there. I did try to get the wrinkles out once before and I couldn't get it out, but I wanna do this as a demo. When you buy your Atmos Effects digital decoration, you are gonna to need to download it to your computer if that's the option you get. Some of these used to be, um, my Zombies was a CD that I ended up ripping onto my computer. I bought a lot of these a long time ago and um, I've just been saving them. So they come in in a, in a nice you know file there and you have to unzip it and then I save them on my computer here. And then whatever one you wanna play on your projector, you use your, um, for, for me I'm using a simple um, 16 gigabyte um, 3.0 flash drive. Um, you can get these on Amazon. So when you get your Atmos effects de decorations, you should be completely fine just using a little flash drive. So then you just pick what you want. And then I, in my flash drive, I just selected a few little scenes and we're gonna be doing the zombies. So there they are on my computer. Um, and we're gonna put this onto my window. Check out how tiny that thing is. And the speaker on this, I mean, is just amazing. I mean, it's a Harman Kardon. You can't get any better than that. Well, I guess you could, but I like it. I'm fine with it. This is how you would load all your little things in there. So we're gonna put our, our USB, or it says pumpkins, but it's zombies. I have pumpkins on there too. And we're gonna put that right in there like that. And then this just, flips open like that and then you kind of just 
set it like that. How easy is that? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I need to adjust that. Look how bright that is. All my lights are in, um, in my house. I'm not, I have, that is pretty good. So let's adjust that now. It has a cute little stand already. I personally would like it if it had um, a tripod mount right there. That's only one thing I wish it had right there. So there it is with all the lights on right now. Did I tell you how happy I am I got him? I love him. Okay, so here we are. Wow, isn't that cool? I keep saying wow, because I'm actually really, and it's on battery right now, guys. Um, I like the remote also, because you can use it from behind and front, both sides. Some projectors, you can't do that. So it's easily like that. Screen mirroring, mirroring is great. Um, if you're doing photos and videos off your phone, having a hard time doing um, just streaming. I can't stream. The Bluetooth speaker sounds amazing all that stuff. But what we're gonna do is we're going to figure out, go to source, and we're gonna look for that USB that we put in, USB reader. Um, and there, there's my list of things. So here's zombie down here. I don't, I guess there's more things on that card. So I'm gonna hit zombie and we're gonna wait for it. And you can see it needs to be adjusted. And I'm going to mute it for this. Okay, I muted it. So why the light's on? Oh, not adjust that. We're going to adjust this little guy. So we can do lots of things. We can do the keystone. And you know what? Let's turn off the lights so we can see what the heck we're doing. We can move it back if it needs to be bigger. We can move it forward. Like I said, we can change the keystone. There's lots of little things you can adjust, like a little bit like that. And let's turn off the lights. The focus on this is right on the side here. So there they are. We should go see what it looks like outside. The only thing is, why is that still muted? Why is it showing that? Okay, we need to figure out how to loop it. Oh, it automatically looped it. Didn't know that. So you wanna go see what it looks like outside? All right, let's go. There it is. Now, I made a mistake. I should have opened my window, turned up the volume, and then you'd hear the zombies. So I, can see the projector right there, but it's not that bad, honestly. And that is the problem of my material, not the projector. You know, honestly, you can't even see those folds. I'm gonna see if I can open the window and turn up the volume so you guys can listen to that. Before I turn up the volume, I just wanna say, I set this up in a matter of 10 minutes, right now, 10 minutes. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, let's turn this puppy up and open the window. I'm gonna go outside, it's gonna get bad. Turn off this light. So I could back it up even more if I wanted to um, get away the window lines. So that's the audio with the projector. I didn't use another speaker. For shits and giggles, let's see what would happen if we had another light on. Usually it's not this dark. You wouldn't have a light that bright out at your haunt, obviously, but works still pretty good, doesn't it? 
I wonder if the remote works out here. Let's try to mute it. Holy crap, it muted. Okay, didn't think that was gonna happen. Unmute it. So there it is. I seriously did this in probably no more than 30 minutes tops with the adjustments. So if you want a simple, easy decoration from inside your house, looking out, obviously. <laughs> Not bad at all. Go inside. Six feet. To the window. I wish I bought this sooner. I think I spent more money buying two cheaper projectors on Amazon rather than buy the Atmos Effects, the ViewSonic M plus one. And it probably added up to about the same. And this one is just so much easier. It's brighter. And I'm not, I'm honestly telling the truth. And I will do another review after I use it for Halloween, an honest review, because that's when it's really going to be used. I just wanted to do this because it was so simple. It was so easy. I, I mean, if you got this as the kit, you know, you'd already have your digital decorations, but just put them on your computer, only put the one you wanna use on a flash drive. Obviously it's looping it. Um, I didn't even hit loop, which is kind of cool. Um, and then I just said, it's still not even plugged in and it's working. I can carry it around. It, it was so easy. The remote was the easiest part. I have so many cheap projectors and the remotes suck. Um, I think I'd get better material and that's my fault. That's not the projector's fault on that. Super cool. I'm stoked and I'm kind of upset that I never bought it sooner. So thank you um, Atmos Effects and thank you Fusonic for sending me this projector. I will be doing a lot of little tests with it and I'll be using it through um, my Halloween haunt show and I'll probably be making more videos. Anyways, um, I'm gonna let this thing run and I'm gonna let you guys know um, at the end how long it was running before the battery ran out. Thanks for watching and I do actually love this little projector, my honest review. And like I said, I'll review it again after my haunt, after I get a full use. And then I'll really let you know what I think. But so far out of all four of my projectors, sorry, just, I have um, a window FX one. I have the typical one you see on Amazon right now with a million different names one. It was like a hundred bucks. I have a garage sale one that I converted, really good office projector that I had to get a conversion for it and still cost me money to do that. And then I have my house projecting um, projector, which also is a ViewSonic, which I love. I have a lot of ViewSonic stuff. And um, when I found out they used ViewSonic, which honestly, I don't know why I didn't know before, I was kind of excited because I love the ViewSonic projector I use for my house mapping, bigger projector. And you know what? I think the next video I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you guys all my projectors and just have, you know, compare projectors. That's what I'm going to call it. Comparing projectors from the cheapo cheapest one all the way to my house mapping one. So that will be the next video. In the meantime, happy haunting and um, stay spooky and safe, my friends. Well, folks, it finally died.